Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on June 18th, and we started with Afghanistan. And this is the American English pronunciation that I hear the most often, with a lot of ah for American ah. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. And this you'll hear Americans say both ways. I think more common is Iran with the letter I sounding like I and ran sounding just like I ran errands, but I ran. Um, on TV, journalists, um, others saying it more accurately will say Iran, Iran. Uh, this I had to look up because I have always put stress on the first syllable, like Kyrgyzstan, but it can also go on the end, Kyrgyzstan. So whichever way you prefer, there were actually four variations because the uh, stan could also be stan. So Kyrgyzstan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, but Americans, if they see stan at the end of uh, a word, they're going to pronounce it stan with an a. Ah. Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Mediterranean Sea. All of these will change. Let's say me stays med. Da. This T changes to a D. Ranian. Mediterranean Sea. Parallel. Parallel. So when you say pair, your tongue curls back. Parallel. Up for the L and back down and up again. Parallel. Omnipotence, omnipotence, Ex <laughs> extemporaneous, I had to stop and think, extemporaneous. This is here because of the question, it's spelled with an X, so why did I put a K here? Because the letter X doesn't have its sound of its own, it's really a KS like box, or it can be a Z, like xylophone, but in this case, Extem. So your tongue has to go to the K position and block the airflow. Extem. Even if you're not releasing the air, ek, but hold it there, ek, making a little pause of the airflow. Extemporaneous. Ubiquitous. This T changes to a D. Ubiquitous. Cucumbers. Q. Your tongue is starting very high in the Y position. Q. Cucumbers. And this word you will hear Americans say both ways and people argue about which way is the, the best way. It's more of a regional difference. So on the East Coast or the Midwest or West Coast. So you'll hear coup without the Y, coupon, or coupon with the Y, Q, coupon. Horizon. We don't say H-O-R here as or and we don't say this O-N as on. It's H. Rai zin or zun, but not o n. <laughs> horizon, horizon. To soar, and this kind of soar, which would be to glide or fly, it sounds exactly the same as this spelling, which means like uh, doesn't feel good, sore throat. So t, because two is hardly ever stressed, the little two is not important. So I am changing the u to an uh. Um, I didn't know when I just put this here if the T will stay a T or change to a D. But in this sentence, it would be great to soar as high as the birds. To soar. I'm keeping this T a T because it's following a T in great. So if the T comes after an unvoiced sound, t, there's no vibration in the throat, then the T stays a T, but I'm still going to change the, the U to a. Uh, great ta. Great ta. Great to see ya. If the T is after a voiced sound like duh, duh, if you say duh, you have vibration in the throat, then the T changes to a D. And then I'm keeping the uh. So now it's good duh, good duh, good to see ya. Great to see ya, good to see ya. Tiny, tiny little thing. What stands out more is if you don't change the U to a, uh, great to see ya, is, that makes the two stand out as too perfect <laughs> instead of. Great to, great to see you, because the stress is going to be on the, the action you're doing here and probably the uh, great and good. There. And we had eternity. So this could be eternity if it was perfect, e, eternity. But 
It's not stressed, so the e can uh, the tongue can lower down, and it can be i like it uh, here instead of eat. It could be i it, it eternity, or it could be a uh, because it's not stressed. Uh, like up eternity, 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 eternity. Trinity. This vowel is i, like it, so the tongue is always going to be a little bit lower, trin, and that's the same vowel in the next syllable, trinity. The T changes to a D, trinity. Internal, internal. Moment, and the T at the end, I put that little mark there to remind you that you hold your tongue in that position without releasing the T, moment, moment momentarily, momentarily. And this word with all of these vowels and all of these syllables really just gets pushed into three syllables, sovereignty, sovereignty. That's it. I'll do them again without talking. Afghanistan, Iran, Iran, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. Mediterranean Sea, Parallel, Omnipotence, Extemporaneous, Ubiquitous, Cucumbers, Coupon, Coupon, Horizon, Tesor, Eternity, Trinity, internal, moment, momentarily, sovereignty. That's it. Thank you. It was so good to meet new people today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you hope to see you again. Hope you come back and join us for another pronunciation meetup or intonation. Thanks. Have a good day and there will be no intonation meetup tomorrow on June 19th. It will be next week, which is the uh, 26th. I had to look at the calendar. <laughs> the 26th. But I will see you next Tuesday for pronunciation. Thanks. Have a good week.